Soldiers on Reddit, have you worked with anyone who clearly enjoyed killing? What is your story? I worked an office job, but I had a bunch of people who had done the hard charging combat arms stuff. There were guys that felt horrible guilt and there were guys that acted like they liked killing, but if you talked to them, they didn't really like the killing, they liked the fight, and they liked the camaraderie and the fact that every second was meaningful, but they just acted like they enjoyed the killing as a coping mechanism. Most people though just didn't really feel much either way. Just it was the mommy, and I'm gonna make it home, damn it. I had a close friend who was infantry, and confessed to me, when he came from Iraq, that he enjoyed killing the enemy. He said it was a Russian just knowing, that the person he just killed, would never kill one of his friends made him feel amazing. He also said, when he was engaged in a fight it was the only time he wasn't afraid on account of the adrenaline. He said every other second he was in country he was afraid and just couldn't shut the fear off. Now as a civilian back in the states he has struggled. He feels very guilty, not about the killing, but about how much he misses it, and how much he wants to go fight again. He's on a lot of meds for anxiety and depression and I know, is self-medicating too. He's talked to me about not being able to ever shut the fear off cause it's so quiet here, and how frustrated he is all the time. I really worry about him actually. He's not the same guy he was before. He has a hair trigger temper now, and goes into funks a lot. I just sit with him, and let him talk cause he says it helps, and I've been trying to really push him to some vet support groups. He said the VAS services are shit, all they want to do, is up his meds. I've never been in combat, so I feel like maybe talking to people who actually understand may help. TLDR. My friend says he enjoyed it, but it has all left him clearly damaged. Nope. The people who do talk about shooting people are usually the ones who haven't been on tour, and the ones that do have confirmed kills don't talk about it. That's from my experience. Short answer? Yes, there are certainly people that enjoy killing, but most other people just see it as something that needed to be done. I currently serve in a non-combat role which means I don't really see much action. This one guy I went to high school with would not shut up about how much he would enjoy killing people, and how fun it will be once he joins the military. He is currently serving in a light infantry regiment, and cannot wait for a combat deployment of some sort. It's difficult to explain the mentality, if you've never been there, but I'll do my best. My drill sergeant described the arm as essential mission thusly, we kill people and blow shit up. And that is pretty much the truth. You are programmed to seek out the enemy, and fucking ruin his day. This leads to a culture, a mentality, where killing other people is celebrated and joked about. From the outside, I imagine it appears we are bloodthirsty psychopaths. However, nobody I served with was actually happy about killing outside the heat of the moment. I saw a guy empty a mag into an already dead guy after an hours long firefight, and I don't blame him. Fuck I wanted to just beat someone to a bloody pulp too, but that was in the moment. Outside of that, the only soldiers I've ever heard talking fondly about killing are Pogs or Buck PVTS who have no idea what they are talking about. I was working a hot dog cart when I was 19. Was curious about joining the military back then, served 7 and 1 half years starting a year later, and I served a hot dog to a former marine. I asked him if he'd enjoyed his time in. He said it paid good. It was a good time, if you wanted to kill people. He offered that to me easier than I offered the hot dog he was eating. He asked me if I didn't believe he was a I guess from the shock on my face. He pulled out his head to prove it. Kind of a difficult question to answer. I was field artillery in a fairly quiet area of Afghanistan in 12. Quiet in that nobody really popped shots at us, but there were plenty of bombs in the roads. I think what you're asking about is more in line of the slavering monster who can't wait to affix bayonets and rip someone apart as close as possible. I never met anyone like that. But after seeing the carnage the locals dealt with from these assholes planting explosives in the roads and losing some friends to same, you bet your ass there was some cheering if the shadow captured footage of some dudes burying shit in a road at 2am catching an Excalibur. I was marine infantry and fought in Afghanistan in 2009 to 2010. I would say without a fraction of a doubt that everyone I served with liked fighting. The killing aspect? I can't say. None of us ever had trouble sleeping about it. 
I would say I feel kind of neutral about it. I will say most of us had the blackest humor imaginable about the whole situation, but I feel you kind of have to- But the actual fighting portion was the most fun I'd ever had in my entire life. I watch documentaries like Restrepo, or movies like Lone Survivor, or just Yautub videos, or my own videos and pictures, nothing more but just pics of being in country, and I miss it. There's videos of us in a fight laughing our asses off, because it was just fun. I can't describe why. Unfortunately the fun stops when someone dies, or gets seriously injured. I never lost anyone in my squad, but knowing a 19 year old I went to boot camp and saw I with just stepped on an IED, and is gone really shakes you. The fun factor is still there, but you remember this is a fucking war and it's scary. It comes to a point where killing isn't done for anger or for country, but for the pragmatic reasons of staying alive and keeping other people alive. To that end I hate saying it's enjoyable, but there is a sense of satisfaction. I killed him, and now he can't kill me or my friends. When I was a young man in 1985 I fought against the communists in Afghanistan, part of the Islamic Revolution movement. In the squad was a man from Nuristan province named Dayawad, fake name. Dayawad was the most zealous man I've ever met, and not good zealous. He believed it was his righteous duty to kill every socialist in the country and he enjoyed it. I was scared to fight, and I don't believe I killed anyone, and if I did it was maybe one enemy total. Dayo had killed a few, and was more happy than I've ever seen a man be on a battlefield. Some brothers were happy fighting, or at least were fine with the fact, but he was in love with it. Dayo had died to Russian planes though. His quest to kill every communist did not work out too well. You go into Afghanistan, you got guys who slap women around for 5 years, because they didn't wear a veil. You know, guys like that ain't got no manhood left anyway. So it's a hell of a lot of fun to shoot them. Actually, it's a lot of fun to fight. You know, it's a hell of a hoot. It's fun to shoot some people. I'll be right up front with you. I like brawling. General Mad Dog Mattis. My stepdad was probably the only guy who liked being in Vietnam. He's told me some pretty fucked up shit, and I'm 100% sure he enjoyed what he did. He's not a huge guy, but I've seen a couple drunk guys try to fight him at a bar one time. Bad idea, he doesn't fight. He's a killer. Punched both guys right in the throat and a group had to stop him from stomping them to death. The fucked up part, he's a super nice guy. He's shown me pictures of him sawing off people's heads. He burned villages. He shot people. Has stabbed people to death. He's killed people in unorthodox methods from what the military should do. As far as my personal opinion on him, and the fact that I grew up with a trained killer as a role model, it's just strange. I could never imagine me doing the things he's done. I look at criminals who murder with disgust, but when I hear him talking about it, I don't think like that. I listen intently, as if I'm learning something important. Like someday it may save my life in a fight or flight situation just listening to this guy talk about killing people. War is fucked. I was in the Asami Signal Corps, and out of my company we had exactly zero Billy Badasses in the unit. We fixed cars and drove around trying not to get blown up. Half the army is infantry and that's where those guys go for their murder fix. Didn't interact with them except training. Been in for 4 years now, army, and yes, you meet a few people like that. I recently posted a story about a tank commander my old platoon sergeant had. Long story short, the TC used the severed arm of a suicide bomber to slap his driver silly. I'm sure he falls in the category that you're asking. I've had more experienced soldiers drop to bits of wisdom like use infrared when you're shooting. They look less like people and it's a lot easier to live with afterwards in regards to gunning on a Bradley. I've heard pride in voices when they talk about taking a city or town. I know one guy who took part in revenge killings after getting blown up again on his return from the hospital after hitting an IED earlier. He wasn't thrilled about it, he didn't revel in it, he just stated it as a hard fact. But as the other posts have stated, usually the guys who say all they want to do is shoot people in the face, they haven't done it. Part of it is getting in the mindset, so that when the time comes, you're already mentally there. Part of it is innocence and bravado, and not wanting to seem like a pussy to your buddies. And I think some people do genuinely enjoy it, though they are not as common as you think. 
Generally, if the dude at the bar is happily talking about all the people he killed, he's a dirty liar. In the sense of fuck yeah I'm killing bad guys yes. It's neutral but you don't necessarily feel bad. If the person was terrible, raped slash killed slash caused harm to a lot of people, then yes in the sense of I love killing people no. Didn't work with him, but Chris Kyle wrote a book about it his love for killing people. He even lied about murdering people after Hurricane Katrina. Not massively related, but I met an American soldier stationed in Germany when I was traveling there, and he kept talking about dropping napalm on babies and doing impressions of their screaming. When we tried to get away from him, he got very angry that we were trying to lose him, and he started following us. We had to rush into a crowd to lose him. Very strange guy. For a discredit thread without a serious tag, the responses have been pretty respectful. For me, I think the only guy I saw who just loved killing was K. Michael, I don't remember his full name. That guy was very discreet, but he had no code of ethics. He would kill anyone, anywhere. Children, animals, old people, didn't matter. The last time I saw him, he downed his whiskey, stood up from the bar and said, while patting my shoulder, here I go, killing again. I'll be honest here. I was a marine grunt and my experience was that it's different for everyone. Some guys hated killing and it bothered them. Other guys would pick up body parts and play with them. I had a squad mate wave hello with the blown off hand of an enemy combatant because he saw it on a movie or something and thought it would be funny. At the time it was pretty funny. In country it's not hard to kill. That's your job and they are trying to kill you or your friends. So it comes easy. It's when you get home and you have all this time to start thinking about it that really fucked me up. Should we have even been there? Was that guy really a bad person? Wouldn't I have done the same thing if someone invaded my country? I can't justify my actions in my head anymore and I don't feel like I fit in with normal people anymore. If I told someone that I laughed at a dead person's hand being waved at me, they would probably think I'm a sick piece of shit. Am I? Sometimes I really think I'm a piece of shit and I don't deserve to live. I try to make friends and stuff now, but I just don't feel right around other people. I've done this horrible thing that they will never get. The smell. The way the corpse feels. Bright red blood bubbling up from huge holes in people. I felt brain for fuck's sake. The intense fear. All of that is at the front of my mind every day of my life. It's been a decade now, and I think about it every day. I really just don't know what to think. Sometimes I want to eat a bullet. Other times I want to fit in. Some days I wish I was back in combat. I was in a class about addiction counseling in college. I like there was only one man in the class, and he was much older than the rest of the students and the professor. He had served during Vietnam I know for sure, and he might have been in other wars too. I know he was involved in the military by choice. He had a job working with veterans, and I guess, was taking the class, to get some extra insight. One particular class period we were discussing PTSD among soldiers. His mentality was that when there was a draft, there were just guys who couldn't handle combat, and people who joined the military by choice could always pick out the guys who were forced in by the draft. He didn't think PTSD was real, he just thought certain guys were tougher and more fit than others. He said there were plenty of sane people who enjoyed combat. His example in defense was a guy who liked to go through villages and rape women and kill villages and children for no reason. Apparently otherwise he was a completely normal guy who the guy in my class felt safe around. His justification for why this was normal? The guy only targeted Asians, so white people didn't have to feel scared around him. He considered this guy sane and the people came back with PTSD as crazes who were like that to begin with because they were too wimpy for combat. I'm sure ideas within the military have shifted since that guy was active, but story always sticks out in my mind. Just gonna throw this out there, but you do know only about 8% of enlisted personnel will ever be given an assignment that is expected to see combat, right? And then on top of that, a lot of that is shooting at each other from across the valley, or from 200 meters away. Very little of that is breach and clear, CQC, or the type of situation where you would consciously be killing slash able to tell the difference between combatants and non-combatants. And even then, taking the time to check 
whether or not they are combatants is a good way to lose a quick draw. My brother trained with a due to hope upon deployment to be able to abduct an Iraqi girl. He used a much cruder term and keep her tied up under his bed to be his mate when he wanted. He also apparently believed he had the soul of a dire wolf and plotted in his diary how to get some little bits of dead insurgents to eat. Never found out what happened with him, but I hope he got some serious help. Of course, most do. That's combat, if you drop a guy on the other team people clap and cheer, you get medals, people call you a hero. That's all good shit, it ice until you get home, and society is different than the society you lived in at the military, that people have problems. Under certain circumstances, there is nothing biologically or emotionally that makes killing bad. Read on killing, it's a good study to your question. Former infantry squad leader with tours in both Iraq and Afghanistan, here, nobody, except for sociopaths, enjoys the taking of another human life. The unfortunate truth, though, is that you are trained from the get to desensitize yourself to the idea of killing and dehumanize your enemy. Ever wondered why every American generation of wartime soldiers has a generic, if not completely non-human nickname for the enemy? Most recently, terrorist or Hajji, but VC slash book for Vietnam, Jerry in World War II, and I'll skip to the very beginning for brevity's sake to lobster back in the Revolutionary War. This process of conditioning continues through and beyond the actual act of pulling that trigger. Imho this process is unfortunately, utterly necessary. Without it, many more soldiers could not conscionably accomplish their mission, when that mission involves killing the enemy. 